Hi everyone, I've just had my new Batman Class 20 delivered so I thought I'd do another video where I talk about different speaker options and how I'm going to fit the sound into it. Uh, people seem to find it quite useful last time when I did it for the Helljohn 25 so I thought people would probably want me to do something similar for this one. So I've already had a quick look inside it. Um, it's the same as other Class 20s so you've got a screw at each end and then the body just lifts off uh, but you need to be careful with this one because it's got some uh, plugs and sockets for the lights which are obviously new to the class 20 it's not something that they had in the past uh, when you do open it up it's got a plux 22 blanking plug and it's got a small sugar cube speaker so um, it's sort of quite well designed um, but I do feel like there's maybe a few things that can be improved with speaker. So first of all, before I talk about sound too much, uh, a couple of people have already asked me about just normal decoders for them. So I've got the Trainomatic Plux 22 decoder and I've also got the Lock Pilot 20, uh, Plux 22 sorry, decoder. So either of them are compatible with it and they've got enough functions and everything so if you're not wanting to put sound in or you're not wanting to put sound in it yet uh, that's an option for getting it up and running so that's it in terms of non-sound in terms of sound obviously like everything else I do I'll be using a lock sound 5 obviously the plux 22 version um, I'm not quite sure whose sound I'm going to use yet it's actually still a blank decoder so at the end of this there won't be any video of it running because I haven't, I haven't got that far yet. Um, but I'll probably use either Southwest Digital or Lego Man before to start with. Um, I'm sure I'll try Jamie Goodman as well. I've done videos of all of them in the past and uh, they're all good in their own way. They've all got sort of plus and negatives. So you can, you've probably already got your favourite to choose from. So in terms of fitting the decoder the blanking plug just comes out gently. Um, with these the pins are sticking out of the decoder or the blanking plug rather than being part of the circuit board. So I think that's something that Backman are going to use on most of the models now. So I've had a few thoughts initially. Um, one is obviously just to use the standard speaker but that's not really what I do usually. Um, what I sometimes do with these is just take out the Backman driver and put in one of the 15 by 11 speakers which I sell, which is a little bit higher quality I've found than the one that Backman use. It's a little bit louder and it does give better sound quality. Um, that's what I've been doing with some of the small steam tank locos and stuff because there's not really space for anything else. But I do think with this, there's actually a bit more space, so I'm probably going to use something like the double iPhone, which I've had a quick look. I'll have to move some wires out of the way, um, but it will fit there. It's narrow enough, I think, to, to clear the body. Um, so that's the, the double iPhone mini. Um, I think that's a good option. This one will definitely fit as well, so that could go there and possibly use that in conjunction with the existing speaker. I'm not sure yet, I probably need to try a few. Um, these speakers can be made a little bit thinner by taking foam pads off them, um, so that's what I'll be doing if I fit into here. They just peel off like a sticker if you get your nail underneath. Um, I've also thought I could maybe be slightly more adventurous and use something like the double iPhone Slim, which I know sounds good in a Class 20 because it's what I've been using for a while in the older models, but that uh, there might just be a few issues with uh, things getting in the way. What you'd probably have to do to use this one would be to take off these uh, plugs and sockets um, and solder the wires directly onto the circuit board. It'd clear quite a lot of space. Um, I don't know if I necessarily want to go to that much trouble and uh, 
I guess it will affect the warranty and stuff if you start doing things like that. So I'll probably use something that fits in the space that's already there. Another thing that I've thought I might do is fit a Stay Alive. Um, I do quite like to use Stay Alives in smaller models. So I've got one of the Tronomatic SPPN Stay Alives, which will fit, should fit quite nicely there. And then maybe use a smaller speaker and put it next to it. I think it'd stand up right and probably fit next to that, for example. Um, so that's another option. Um, and possibly the space. If I do take the existing speaker out, I could use a stay alive there as well. So yeah, that's just a few initial thoughts. And uh, I am going to try quite a few of them. And I'll be back with at least one more video showing what I ended up using. So hopefully that's been useful for you and uh, keep an eye out for the next video where I'll show you what I fitted. Thank you.